Hello friends, it's Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations, and today we're going to talk about offsets and internal offsets. So let's jump in and get started. All right, so I've got two words on here, hello, and I'm going to go ahead, let's make these a little bit bigger so we can see. So I just um, rubber band selected both and I'm holding shift and alt, and that's going to grab both of them and kind of enlarge them both at the same time. Move this one down here, move this one here. Okay, so right now you can see the words are not welded together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this top one, we're gonna work with this, and I'm using the vanilla cream uh, font, and I'm going to go ahead and weld this together. You can see when I did that, now the E and the Ls are all connected. You've got them connected, whereas down here they're not, okay. And now I'm going to make this a compound path and that will make sure the H stays with the rest of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the word down here. So I'm going to right click and I am going to weld, weld the letters together. And then that leaves us with an H and an LO. And now I'm going to make that a compound path and now it connects them all together. Okay, now with this top one, we're gonna go ahead and open up our offset panel, which is this star. And you've got an offset or internal offset. So for this top one, we're going to do an external offset. So I'm gonna take this one, let's go ahead and just give it a fill color and I'm gonna fill it with white. And then I'm going to do an offset. And you can see now we've got a layer that goes around the outside of the text that we just had. And we're, this is at 0.125. So you can go ahead and increase that offset to whatever you would like. And I think I like that, so a, a 0.2. And then you can either square off the corners or you can round off the corners, however you wanna do that. I tend to like to keep mine rounded. And then when you're done and you like that, you hit apply. With that still selected, I'm gonna go ahead and give that just the offset a color, and I'm gonna fill it with black. So now you can see, if I pull away my white, this is my original font, and then this here in black is my offset. So I'm gonna contr uh, control and Z to undo moving those pieces. So that's my external offset. This is good if you were cutting out um, you know, either out of vinyl or cutting out of cardstock and you wanted to basically do like a die cut and give it a shadow layer, this is how you would do that with an offset. Do you find this helpful? Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Now let's jump back in where we left off. And then for an internal offset, we're gonna take this hello. Again, we already welded it and made it a compound path. So I'm gonna come back up here to internal offset. And this is at 0.03, so it's made that new line right inside there, okay. And then, so this is how you could um, use this to, if you wanted to leave like a little line around, now I could grab both of those and make that a compound path. If I grab that and now grab everything here and make that a compound path. Now if I go to give that a fill color, it's only gonna fill in the outline. So that's if you take an internal offset and make it a compound path. So I'm gonna undo, control Z. So now I've got this internal offset and I'm gonna go ahead and add another internal offset at the same distance while I have the current internal selected and I'm making another copy. And with that, I'm going to do another internal and I'm gonna same distance, apply it again. And you can see what it's doing is adding lots of little lines inside there. Let me zoom in really far here. We're adding lots of internal offsets to here. I'm gonna go ahead while everything, the in this inside one, is still selected, I'm gonna do another internal offset. I like that 0.03 distance. And I can keep adding these until everything's filled in. And that looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty well filled in. So what does this do for me to have all these internal offsets? 
This is what you are going to do if you want to use either a sketch pen or your foil quill to go ahead and fill in the lines because those pens and foil quill only follow the red line. So depending on how thick the pen is, it's going to come through here and it might leave a wider track, but having all of these internal offsets, it's going to trace each one of those. And as they get closer and closer together, then it's going to look like this entire word is filled in. So now, so that is kind of the difference. So now you can see the difference between, between an offset and an internal offset and their uses. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.